What you guys got another video request here for Windows 8. This one's on how to show hidden files and folders inside Windows 8. Now you didn't say whether you use the Metro interface or you're using Classic Shell or something like that. So I thought I'd show you both ways. Now there is a time when you're going to need to show hidden files and folders if you've got issues with your system. So it's obviously good to know where that is located. So I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty straightforward. So here we've got our uh, actual Metro interface. I'll show you this way first. There's a couple of ways of going about it. Um, you can either right click on a bit of blank space here and then what will happen is up will come this little banner at the bottom. Click on all apps and this will open up this window here and you can then go to file explorer. This will switch you straight to this window. Once you get here there's a couple of options open to you here. You can either go view and this will pull down the actual tab here and there you can see hidden items. If you put that in there, that will actually show you the hidden items. Again, what you can do also is after you've shown hidden items, you can come over to this options area and then you can open up the option screen and this will open up the old style look that you used to see inside Windows 7. Go to view and you can see there show hidden files and folders and then you can also take out ticks for the operating system files and whatnot if need be okay okay I'll show you another way of going about it as well so I'll take this tick out and I'll close this off another way of doing it is uh, if you've got classic shell you can either right click on classic shell uh, uh, the icon down the bottom here click on Windows Explorer this will open up that same window and again you go through the motions and click here and then also you would can click options if you wish but that's showing the hidden items another way of doing it is actually going to control panel if you've got the uh, classic shell this will open up this feature now if you're looking at this setup here you can go to appearance and personalization and then when you get down to folder options here, if you look here, show hidden files and folders. There's the other way of going about it. And there's also, if you go into computer here, again, same sort of thing. Really, you can either go computer, control panel, or you can go properties. There's another way. If you go properties, you'll always be able to get to it tools and folder options. And this is another way of going about it. Same thing. Okay, so they're basically the ways of showing your hidden files and folders. Now let me just put the Metro interface back on. I just want to show you one more thing. And once you get to this stage here, if you didn't want to right click on this blank space here, you could literally hover over this little icon down in the bottom right hand side here and then you just come up go to search and this will open up the same area for you okay and all you need to do here is go file explorer or control panel from here either way will get you to that location the way I showed you so you just open it up and the same thing okay so that's probably more than enough ways to show you how to get to uh, hidden files and folders and stuff like that okay so I think that's going to be about it for this video hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that subscribe button guys and also show your support by rating and favoriting my videos and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future now if you've got video requests uh, then obviously send me a message in YouTube and I'll do my best to make those videos for you so thanks again and thanks for your support have a great weekend bye for now